Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here in Kaiser Redux, in which we're playing as not the CSA, but we're playing as the Russian Socialist Republic under a guy named Alexander Shlyapnikov, which looks pretty cool. Um, I've already done one Bolshevik route, and I tried to get another Bolshevik, but it ended up being a trade unionist this time. A syndicalist, which is totally fine with us. Also, it is October 4th, 1937. Um, I tried to do the some of the focuses in the focus tree that you get before you come to this focus tree, and none of the benefits that I did really won out. But what if we were to do industrial democracy? Let's start with that one, why not? Syndicalist vision for union control over the economy has succeeded in winning over majority delegates and chairman in our Soviets. And right now you can see that way I've actually sent soldiers to the CSA to see how well they'll do. And I've already sent some planes down here as well. And hopefully they'll do okay against 300 planes while there's only 21 of them. Also, let you know we are using State Chester Tool Mod, which which doesn't seem to work with Kaiser Redux, as well as player-led peace conferences, just because you never know if you might need it. I don't plan on this campaign, honestly, being super, super long, but long enough to where we get the job of reuniting the USSR, or getting all of our lands back together. So, hope you guys are having a pretty good day, and this guy's about Tukhachevsky. Uh, I think we're actually doing okay on building the economy back up. We get 0.68 every single day. Oh, that's not good, yeah. Backwards industry, not bueno. New economic policy, of course. We have social security, which actually, that's one of the few things that actually stayed from the previous administration. Cool. Actually, that's really helpful. And we have resistance damaged, moderate, so it is what it is. <clears throat> Hopefully these things do a good job, because we're sending them to Indiana right now. Illinois, uh, really Illinois, because we need to fight the resistance. We need some more war propaganda. Oh, I don't even see that. We have 25% stability, which kind of sucks as well. Panama is gone, but after an industrial democracy, we're going to immediately go ahead and do what? The war effort? I think I went with centralized. Actually, I think it was. I did go with centralized this time. Hmm. Rebuild the Red Army, because I've done that one before. So, we'll see what happens. Uh, proletariat, proletarian Revolution. Create the VSR. Let's do that one. By establishing the All-Russian Union of Producers, the VSR, the Soroskiyevsky Soyuz Rabochichik, the trade unions will be granted a far greater influence over labor and the economy as a whole. In the end, this will serve to strengthen the worker and the union alike. Cool. Um, are you guys are still... You're still... Oh, you're up here. You're near Fort Wayne. Okay, cool. So after this one, we probably do proletarian revolution. The revolution must be complete and all-encompassing. For socialism to be achieved, we must put all of our efforts towards its accomplishment and radically change society from the top to bottom. Only by removing the rotten core left behind by the previous regime can the workers truly be free of its oppression. I don't remember the last time I actually played as a syndicalist nation, so this would be kind of cool. Can you actually win here? They don't have a lot of organization. Their stats are okay. They're only 12 combat with. They do have cavalry, but... They're doing okay, not great. It is almost 38. Mm. I do want carriers again. I love carriers for some reason. I have a big problem about carriers. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> just the way for, uh, I don't know. Just carriers are cool. I like carriers a whole lot. But hopefully, we can get some good army XP here and some air XP as well. Well, maybe not air XP. Uh, that's not too bad. Actually, since you're here, anyways, just where are the planes? There you go. There you go. Good luck. Hey, and get one more. Nice. Also, let's take a look here. I want to show you the rest of the world. Albania is doing Dona Ejabund, which is nice. Um, the Western Command Center is gone. Uh, they do have the Black Revolt, which I'm, I'm going to play as the Black Revolt someday. The Black Revolt seems really cool, actually, to play as. Uh, before they die. Oh, they're the Nation of Islam. Look at that. Elijah Muhammad, the Messenger. Also, we do have the Far Eastern Republic, who are a bunch of totalists. Huh. Gandhi takes power in the Bharati Commune. And here is Asia. The left KMT died already, and China's just killing itself, which is pretty normal. India looks pretty normal. Uh, let's see, anything else? 37? Oh, let's grab some of that, too. Oh, it's motorized as well. My goodness. I've been... Oh, and we also have all this area. I, I, I'll be honest, I'm not exactly sure what happened over here. I was just kind of speeding through this to get set us up for this campaign. But, uh, yeah, we got all of uh, Alash Orda for the most part. Except for Bukhara and the Kokland and stuff like that. But whatever. And here's the Rex back, too. Uh, let's see, I think Poland, yeah, Poland felt a syndicalism, and I, we elected, when I set this up, for us to join the Third International, so, we probably will join Third International eventually, so that'll be really good for, oh, well, the Third International. Oh, the Belgrade Pack, trying to beat up the Bulgarians, I need to play Bulgaria sometime, too. The Reichs Pack looking pretty good down here. Oh, well, that's really sad. That's really sad. Oh, what the? Legionary Banat. Wait, when does that pop out? Banat World Conquest when? The darker red Banat. The red and redder Banat. 
Under the Balkan banner. Our own inter... <laughs> Union of the Balkans. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Alright, it is almost 38 at this point. Just go and get some more research speed. And go for some radar. Thank you very much. The RDP takes power in Bulgaria. And there's Ireland as well. Michael Collins. How are the divisions doing? Um, is there a really, really good place to attack? Not really. If there's three divisions of militia, I don't mind attacking those. That's not too bad, actually. And also, we... One of the focuses I did off screen, like, in the previous focus stream, I was able to get 50 army XP and get a 40 combo with division, so... Really not too bad, actually. Really not too bad. And we have our normies, of course. Uh, five army XP. And we were using these tank divisions, because these guys... I like the 12, 6 there, but... Hmm... Because it already has a lot more organization over here. We'll maybe save this one for later. We'll see. Hmm. Let's save the army XP for now. Can you guys actually win? <clears throat> well, yeah, probably. Cool. Fight more resistance. Just get rid of that stuff. Oh, can develop industries too. That'd be kind of nice. Ooh, and remove. That's not bad. Uh, I'd like to get a warp. Well, I should have done partial mobilization first, but whatever. All right, let's go on and move on over to break the Schmenka. Oh my gosh, we have so much political power. Holy crap. As a result of centuries of feudal and capitalist rule, Russia has few true peasants. It's therefore inconceivable that the farm will be the center of the revolution, albeit through no fault of their own. No. It's a worker and not the peasant that would be the vanguard of the revolution, and he should be elevated as such. Man, we get no PP. Backwards industry. That, there's just so much. This doesn't give us any PP, even though it really does hurt our output quite a bit. Social security is kind of nice to have, though. My goodness. Industrial democracy is not too bad to have, though. Um, are these guys actually attacking? Can you guys actually help out here, maybe? Yeah, maybe you can. American Union State has always a unique flag. I'm not saying it's good. I'm not saying it's bad. But it's certainly unique. But happy 38, everyone. My gosh, minus 0.3 PP? Jesus. But then industrial socialism. Socialism cannot be stuck in the past. To achieve it, we must focus on the industrial sector, reds and whites. Uh, if you want to read about that, please go right ahead, because I've read that one before. Children are like soft wax. I guess you just burn them? Maybe not, I don't know. So now we get, after we do that one and we get to industrial socialism, we got more here. If you want to read about Red Flood, please go right ahead. The mad ravings of a stopped oddest nothing mole. Oh, they're actually taking us here too? Cool. I'll uh, head over here then. <clears throat> I just want to get a lot of army XP. Both boys are in, and we're led by Boris Shapshnikov. Very cool. Ooh, we actually have a military career. If you'd like to read about that, please go right ahead. I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Love it. When they have little bios about their generals and stuff. I chose Voroshilov right now just because I don't know who else to choose. He's an old guard, which I really don't like. But then again, all the others are old guards, Zukov and Frunz as well. So, eh. There we go. Um, <clears throat> Honestly, max entrenchment is nice for defense. But... We do want to be on the aggressive side eventually. Plus one more is really good to get. And I'll get this one anyways, why not? Screw it. Cool. Head on back up, if you want to. As long as you can't pierce their armor, that's the most important thing. The Black Revolt is not giving up without a fight. Actually, before they die, how strong are they? Oh, they have no manpower. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that sucks. Cool. That's, I, I don't remember seeing... Been at ever my other Kaiser Redux play. Oh, Venice is here too. Industrial socialism. Socialism? Socialism. Do they have unique focus tree? Hey, Volpi. Bounty of the sea. Oh, they're a puppet of uh, Austrians. Okay, well. I kind of do, so I kind of don't, but. That one too. Thank you. Cool. After this one, which one can we do? One of these two over here. Separation of powers. Oh, it needs all of the following. Oh, research slot's good. Fight bureaucratization. So we can't do that one since we're not radical socialists. Which actually, that one looks a lot better, a lot better than this one. But separation of powers. After, of course, we need to get another one done here. Requires all of the following. One of the industrial socialism. Oh yeah, I guess that makes sense. <clears throat> the interests of the unions have been ignored for far too long. And we will create a separation of power between the unions, the Soviets, and the Communist Party, which will allow to represent the proletariat while we also allowing for the effective defense against reactionaries. Sounds good to us? Cool. And get us another city because we need more cities. 
Um, we're at 15, and then we're at 15, and then 3. That's not great. Yeah. Every time I've taken the red route, which is not many times, you're really kind of backwards in industry. Oh, and we're losing now. Go back, go back. I know your organization's not super high, but still. Nice. And grab some of that, too. And then grab some of this as well. And we'll get motorized eventually. Fall of the Rashidi Empire. Okay. Oh, let him learn, let him learn, let him learn. That's why he's over here. Actually, how many tanks do we have? Because we don't have enough guns. Or artillery. We have, we have some anti-air, which is pretty nice, actually. Tanks, though. We definitely need more tanks. We're going to need more manpower. We're going to need a lot more things. Oh, baby. Alright. That helps us out. Separation of powers. But we do get a research slot here, but yeah, the other one, I think, is just better overall. <clears throat> Change your family rules or result in spike in divorce. If you remember about that, please go ahead. An unforeseen consequence for sure. It is what it is. Alright. Oh, they're kind of breaking as well. You know what we could do? There you go. I was going to, like, cycle them out so I can come back and get more organization. So after separation of powers, what are we going to do? The first five year plans. So power struggle is ongoing. Max factors in and stays okay. That's not too bad, actually. First five year plans. The taxation of the peasantry and thus the, taking the surplus value the peasants will allow for the productive forces to transition to socialism to be created, which is best done through central planning agency, creating plans which allow rapid industrialization. Sounds pretty good for us. Oh, are you guys getting. I mean, they're still getting attacked here, so. Maybe not. Only not a point to move, I guess. Eh, just keep staying there. You'll be alright. Getting a. Well, technically, I had a fifth research slot off screen earlier, but. Whatever, it's okay. Actually, if we get this one done, I might throw on to these guys something else, maybe. Because we need eight, so we need... Mm, I mean, either one doesn't really matter. I might just make pump this one up, because it has a lot more armor already. Six, four is not too bad. But I do want to get some support companies, like more artillery. Because I want more uh, soft attack. I love the soft attack. Uh, artillery... Oh, yeah, keep doing that one. Oh, I guess we're going to delay doctrine this time, too. Maybe next time we'll choose mass assault. We'll see. The first five-year plan. A South African People's Union was gone? Okay, well. Oh, we can't do this one yet. Oh, we still have the power struggle? Really? I thought we pretty much just finished all that stuff over there, but okay. Uh, the war effort. We will need to organize a revolutionary war effort, as it has been a pure disaster beforehand. We will reestablish much of the bureaucracy and state apparatus, which was destroyed in the wake of the failures of the first civil war. Cool. So now that we have at least five research slots, which is very nice. So we're going for that. Nicaragua, thank you. The war effort? Actually, let's not do one first. Let's get one of these first. Oh god, it's taking so long. Oh man, we just don't have enough PP. Don't you hate when your PP is not enough? Are you actually attacking here? Can you actually win? Well, there are guys here, you actually might be able to. Cool. There's so many routes for Red Russia. So many. Oh, Bolsheviks. That's not radical socialists. Okay, so we can't probably go down that route. That makes sense, and yeah. Yeah, our struggle is ongoing. All Bolsheviks victorious. When all following must be true. Okay, so that's really just really like Bolshevik Russia then. Okay, that makes sense. And we will join the Fourth International, as you can see right there. So, cool. The Fourth International? The Third International. Or International. So many I words there, man. Too many I words for me. So I've read a lot of these already. So I actually went down this way, maybe. That would have been actually kind of cool to go down a different route, but if you want to read about Rebuilding the Red Army, please go right ahead. Maybe want to read again. There you go. Cool. Up next. Um. Yeah, that one's. Yeah, I don't know. There's so much loss in political power that you basically don't even have any, so I'm not doing that one yet. Centralized Command. A centralized command is necessary in a military combat. Any other alternatives would just result in total disaster. Something we need to avoid at all costs. Thus, we will aim to create a cohesive military chain of command to allow for more effective fighting force. I, just, I might focus more on the um, Air Force, actually. Oh, that's a lot of lag. What's going on? Is it China or is it Austria? Oh, it's, ah, it's Hungary. Okay, very good. Oh, so much for the Hungarians. Oh, well, time for coffee. Oh, did I not give you a front line? Here you go. There you go, guys. Oh, they almost have Indiana. And they almost have all of Ohio. They do have all of Ohio. Look at that. 
Nice job, guys. Uruguay wins the World Cup. Very nice. I guess we'll go over there for now. Oh, we're so close. We're so close. Ah, very nice. How are we doing with this? One, two... I want at least three lines of, c of cities going on at all times. We're not going to join the war effort against the, the Reich's Pact too soon. Just because we got to get stuff done first. But can you actually win down here? It's kind of questionable. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, it's definitely questionable. Can we throw any more planes in here? 36. Oh, they've joined the right pack. That's okay with us. And 38. 38. Anything here for 38 that we really need to care about? Uh, synthetic fuel storage. That's fine. Actually, we have full fuel, which is not ideal. Oh, I forgot about this. Did I? All you guys train. Go ahead. Go and do that one. And you guys get led by... Oh, I actually, I did set this up earlier, but because we became red, or went down the left path, another one of the left paths, we can't really do much here. Cool. Rebuild the Red Army. Centralized Command. And then we're going to go and do the VVS, maybe... Eh. Oh, let's do this one. Uh, we need more guns. Reorganize armament production. The current state of armament production is a pure disaster. We will need have to reorganize the armament production and end the chaos in the production chain. Only if we do this can we guarantee that every soldier will have a gun to fight the forces of reaction, which will be good. Since we're out. 12,000 guns. Jesus Christ. That's a lot of guns. That is a lot of guns missing. He's becoming an infantry leader. Look at that. More civvies, please. Thank you. Alright. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, military, please. Ah, uh, because maintenance companies for our tanks. Anything else here? Oh, we, how about we get some tanks that are from this era? <laughs> we're using tanks from World War One Or the Great War. Oh, oh my goodness. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to make this one bigger. Because this one... <sighs> They're both okay, but we really could use motorized. So that's going to cost 25. Oh, well, crap. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, not great. Hmm. One, two, and then some, but not enough yet. Planes, how you doing? We got the four more. Not bad. And look at that naval speed. It's, it's going up slowly, slowly, slowly. So that'll be good. The people's logistic core. Actually, that's pretty good. We actually might do that one next. I, I just don't like this one. That, minus 0.3 is so extreme, and you can never get rid of that uh, political power deficit. It's it just it's so bad. It's so bad. Now, last time I think I went with this reform. Um, I might go with this one this time, because we are doing soft attack, so I might go with Zukov's reform plan. Oh, but then... Ooh, more attack, though. Total artillery soft attack plus 5%, and more attack and defense. We get 5% and then 10% more attack. I do like the attack. Mass breakthroughs. We do. Are, we are using armor already. Cast? I think I'm using bombers for this campaign, though. Um, yeah, I am using... Ooh, we, we lose that extra soft attack already? That kind of sucks. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Please don't attack that way. Killing off the car is probably the easy, easiest thing to do to begin with. But let's go ahead and reinstate the checkup. Uh, no, nah, I lied. The VVS. The VVS, the Voyonno-Vosdushne CLA Military Air Force, is badly outdated. We will use the same plans and tactics today that we did 20 years ago. By expanding our air bases and training new recruits, we could change this. Wow. They are really trying to make an encirclement here. That is pretty ballsy. I'll hand it back to them. I'll hand their balls back to them. Actually, I would like to send an attaché, but we'll see what happens. Are we at 15? Yes, we are. So that's two. That's not bad. Let's go and start making more millies then. Cool. Um, actually, that's not, that's not bad. We'll keep one 15, and then two on 15, and then the rest will be just more civvies. Fuel storage is nice. Grab some of that, because we're going to need that eventually. Head on around, guys. I hope you go here and, and take that tile, but we'll see. Because these guys are going to get hit very hard. Um, yeah, American Union State. It's probably... Honestly, the American United State is probably either the most difficult, well, second most difficult nation to play as an American successor, successor state, except for the Western Command Center. Like, that's one, that's the most difficult. I've never played as them, but that seems really difficult. The American United State is probably pretty difficult as well, because they're on a massive two-front war. The car's probably third, maybe? Because the PSA, when I did them, they were really easy. CSA is generally not too bad. The Fed's not easy, but I don't know. We'll see. All right, well, by the time we get down here, um, they're, already, they're already done. Wow. Okay. Whatever. 
you know, the VBS, because I do want to get this one, because you get some planes, some casts, but you get a military factory as well, which is really nice. Aviation bureaus, new fighters, this is all just blueprints, it's, it's all just blueprints. Officer initiative, not bad. What about this one next? Oh, and you are getting attacked, so it's nice. Good, 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 good. And you're really good on defense, so. That'd be great. So after that one, People's Logistic Corps, let's reinstate say the Cheka. Because we get Intelligence Agency, which I do want. The All-Russian Extraordinary Extraordinary Commission carried out its duties with diligence. Now that the socialist rule has been established, however, we face the threat of subversion from counter-revolutionaries from across the world. In order to fend off the threats from both within and from abroad, we must expand the institution and modernize its methods. Okay, it is getting close to 39. I think we'll do one more here. I want better tactical bombers, right? We're using tactical bombers. Yes, we are. So we're down here, so it's not too bad. If that's the case, let's come over here and get some planes going and start training them. Into Obama, uh, planes, tactical bombers because of the range. That'd be nice. Go ahead and do that. And anyone else can do anything else here? Oh, we need to repair our ships. Oh my goodness. Yeah, as you see, we're trying to make a carry, but it's not great right now. Yeah. And what is this? Motorized? Oh, yeah, we're definitely going to need some motorized too. Oh, I already done with the military factory. Oh, that's nice. Um, there you go. Get one more for now. Yeah, you're really just playing catch up here. Really just playing catch up. Not catch up, but catch up. Um, you guys actually win there. Yeah, I mean, if you're helping to attack, I mean, the mountains are so bad to attack into. But that's not bad. More industry, please. Very good. Delay, very good. De delay, delay, delay. Mobile defense is very nice as well. Let them just get attacked and such. Yeah, the American United States is definitely going to collapse. I was the Chinese again sometimes. There's just never enough time to play all the, the nations and mods I want to play. Oh, look at that. Now we're actually getting some good air XP. That's really nice, actually. Uh, increase it to 51. If we can. That's looking a lot better. This is still not looking great. Anti-air. Actually, oh, we, could we could throw anti-air on our tanks right now, but... We're going to hang out here for now. That's fine with us. Since we're going to get attacked pretty harshly anyways. Alright, and then reset the checkup. The seas. I'm going to ignore the seas for now. <sighs> Air doctrine. That'd be nice. We get a uh, you know, Moscow Russian unit. These are all... These are okay. Mm. People's logistic corps. Second Red Army would be nice. I'm going to nationalize the aircraft industry. We have a highly modern aircraft industry. However, often it is still private. We will have to nationalize this aircraft industry and integrate it into the state apparatus if we want to create a modern and strong air force. Which makes sense. 100% sense. Another military factory would be very nice, because that one's almost done as well, so. Are you, are you becoming a mountaineer? A trickster, actually. Cool. Voroshilov, he, uh, he's an old guard, which I don't like, but whatever. Uh, what are the casualties like for the American Civil War right now? Uh, that's not bad. They've lost a lot of guys against each other. The second American Civil War over here. Uh, they haven't lost too much against the PSA, the Pacific American War. Nobody died, which makes sense. And these guys, 5,000, 10,000, that's not bad. That's really not too bad. The Chinese Civil War. Ottomans under siege in the Middle East. God, I remember playing as the Ottoman Empire. That was a mess. And, and Kazan Redux or Kazan Reich? I can't remember, but it was just a gigantic mess. I hated parts of it. It was not a lot of fun. Um, huh. Alright, well, Serenica. We're going to go Syria. Actually, does Syria have a unique focus tree? That'd be kind of cool to see. Do they have a unique focus tree? Syria. The fall of Beijing. Goodbye, Beijing. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. I like that guy's mustache. Sultan Al-Atrash. Atrash. <clears throat> that is a unique last name. One that I might be proud of, but might not be proud of. Dude, dude that they really have a unique focus tree. That's really cool. Syria campaign when? Uphold Sunni dominance. That sounds kind of cool. I remember back in the day, maybe, or even like, oh, it's almost 39. Let's grab some more construction speed. Actually, not factory output first. Um, isn't that really like a modern day mod? You could play as ISIS or something like that. I think you could play as, you could play as ISIS, I think. I could be wrong. I could be really wrong about that, but that's just seems sounds completely radical. It was kind of cool. <laughs> Get demonetized so fast. Like, sometimes when I create thumbnails, <clears throat> Especially when we're playing as certain national daddyists or national socialists. I create some really cool thumbnails, but <laughs> it would get my <clears throat> channel demonetized. I wish I could 
No. Put it as something else, but no, I can't do that. No, 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 no. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right, so up next, let's go do the People's Logistics Core. We'll have to properly organize logistics. To do this, we will create the People's Logistics Corps, which will be in charge of logistics and hopefully end the current state of logistics, which in many cases, or in many areas, is a total disaster. Yeah, so the last side is all... Oh, wait, we can do this one. Oh. Actually, that's not too bad. I might do this one next person. Build dams on the Volga. Hydroelectricity is a clean and good source of m much lacking up in Russia. Or lacking much energy for Russia. With the construction of three dams on the Volga River, we can massively satisfy our need for power. Which is actually very good to give more con uh, consumer goods. Which we absolutely need. Oh, we have two going at the same time. That's fine. It is 39 anyway, so happy 39, everyone. That's looking quite a bit better, actually. That's looking not too bad either. Uh, where are we at? Uh, tanks, not bad, not bad. I want to be at the forefront of pushing down, so you guys go down here. Split the south in two. Well, technically, Texas and Louisiana are not part of the south anymore. Because of a certain Huey Long, but that's okay. And, oh, Syria. My Syria. Oh, no. Syria does not sound like a fun place to be right now. But then again, what do I know? I'm a guy on the internet. Battle Royale Syria. That would be kind of cool, I'll be honest. But that doesn't sound like a fun time. Ah. Uh, Alright, so you guys are getting tech. Head on over here, guys. See what you can do. Do we have any other ships yet, actually? No, we do not. Sucks. Uh, oh, wait. Just merge with that fleet, guys. Go ahead. That's fine. That's fine. Whatever. Boris, learn. Oh, it's becoming Mountaineer, finally. We might actually check here next. What is this? Ah, oh, that's planes. That's good. That's actually really good. The preferred type of territory or terrain, I should really say, for our tankerinos. Alright. And this is 42 days, which is better than 56, but not worse. It's worse than 35 days. Thank you very much. Oh, yes, please. Happy day. Get more artillery first. And then some more bombers. And some planes. That'll be fine. This will, this will require a lot more artillery. And since we're here, let's grab one thing of rubber. Rubber, rubber, rubber. I'm um, going to hold for now. That's fine with us. We using tanks and mounts such a bad idea. Yeah, that's pretty good air XP though. That's not too bad really. So after dams on the Volga, actually, can we do this one next? Resource prospection. That's okay. That's not really super important. I think we'll just do the people's logistic core next. That'll be good. Sorry, I'm taking so long to help out the CSA just because we kind of have to. Can you actually win there? Yeah. Yeah, I think the car is going to die. Uh, I don't know. It's either the car or new or the American Union will die first. Hmm. Bell dams on the Volga. Hijaz is capitulated. Goodbye, Hijaz. Not bad, not bad. We still need to improve a lot of roads, but yeah, our industry is really bad. Cool, cool, cool. Beat them up. Beat them off. No, don't beat them off. Don't beat them off. That's gonna. Look, that's a little weird. Let's go and stop training you guys for now. We already have almost 100 naval XP, which is really nice. Go and repair for now. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, we gotta save a little bit of fuel here. Ah, there we go. That's looking a little better. Even though the air takes up quite a bit of fuel, but the army takes even more for now. The fall of Atlanta. Perhaps the war will be over soon? Well, parts of the war. Head on down, so now they have to split them up. Which we accelerate the decline of the car. 100 army XP. Well, let's grab one of these guys. Uh, this one's so good. Krasny Butilovitz. That's so good. It is 39, of course. So let's come back over to here and get some more output. Get better tactical bombers. Thank you very much. Plane wise, where are we at? 59. We can go up to 76, which is very good. Thank you very much. And, well, there's green air. We should send some bombers down here. This is very good. Italian Federation joined the Rex Pack. That's nice for you guys. I want to help destroy this side first. Anything else? Uh, that wouldn't be too. Actually, that could be really good to get right now. I like the weekly stability. We could probably honestly really use it, so let's do that one. Uh, but I want to get build things faster, though. But stability. But stability. I'll go stability first. Screw it. Stability first. Oh, that's actually not too bad. 20 more PP for that. That's pretty good. After this one, we will go with what? One of the following? Yes, because we need more artillery. Dedicated artillery battalions. We will create dedicated artillery battalions, which will serve to break the lines with legions of artillery shells, which will prevent any real counterattack at best. Go on in, guys. Have a good old time with them. See what you can do. Are we fighting the river? No, and they can't pierce us for now, which is great. 
Any battles? Air battles? Yes! Oh, 76. That's a, that's a lot better. It used to be 300, but now it's 149. And it looks like our planes are actually probably more modern than, than what they have. Not bad. Not bad at all. Can you improve this at all? Yes, yes. Two more, yes. But, oh. oh no, Scotland! Scotland forever! I forgot that Mosley actually was the leader here. Oh. oh my goodness. Oh, I've never seen this one before, actually. For the first time in a hundred years, the Scotland is free from the prejudice of English rule. So my fellow Scotsman, let Alba soar. Whoa. John McCormick. Scotland unshackled. Dunehammer has made a comeback. Free Caledonia. Um. Hey, yo, let me know if I should play Scotland sometime. That is actually really cool. Let's grab that first. We need more cap. Hey, actually more divisions. Nice. Um, in the meantime... Whoa! What? Whoa! The home nation secure independence. Restoring Welsh independence is nothing less than a revolution. It is only through revolutionary means that we can succeed. But for how... What? What? Why did they give up? If it was me, I would have destroyed all the Welsh. Always watching, always protecting. <laughs> I have to do this route sometime. Oh my goodness. Mosley, yes. Oh, so what they're doing better than them versus the new Crom... Oh. Union of England. The new Grand Protector. Well. The Union of Britain. Well then. That is... Wow. Wow. Okay. Holy crap. I haven't even been paying, paying attention. Guys, go up next. Oh, but you're fighting over a river, which is really bad, actually. Don't do that yet. Don't do that yet. Come up here first. And then go there. And then do that. There you go. That'll be nice. That'll be bueno. Homogeneous socialist government, huh? Cool. Yeah, we're going to definitely do this one next. Small unit tactics would be nice, but obviously we can't do that one. Yeah, I don't know. Took a just reform plan. Where's the Zukovs? Mass conscription? That's not too bad. But more speed and armor breakthrough. But we're not using close but Yeah, I'll go Zukov. I'll go Zukov this time. Cool, there you go. That's nice. That's really good. So after this, Zukov's reform plans. We need all the following, so there you go. <clears throat> Zukov has come up with a plan with the goal of increasing conscription while also standardizing equipment production. This will allow us to further churn out more weapons of war from our factories, further fueling our future war efforts. With these reforms underway, the fires of innovation and efficiency shall burn bright with every, within every Russian factory and foundry. We're gonna need some of that too. And get some better guns and artillery as well, so. Overall, not too bad. As long as we can get these guys with us, the CSA, I think we pretty much won the campaign, right? Can they pierce us? No, they cannot. Oh! Are you a... I thought there was a clan leader here. Clan? Yeah, they're, they're lacking a lot of strength. They're lacking, lacking a lot of strength. Go, 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 boys. Boris, you're doing a great job. Oh, he's becoming a, a panzer leader. Thank God. Go in. Go, Charlotte. I haven't been to Charlotte in years. Burn it. Go in, go in. At this point, just go ahead. Just do whatever you need to do to win the war over here. 15 arming speed is not great, but hey, it's better than nothing. 39. Um, let's get some better guns first. Guns first. There you go. That's looking a little better now. There you go. Keep going, guys. Keep going. You're doing a tremendous job. Are we making more melees? Yes, we are. That's actually really good. So we have one, two, three, some. It's not bad. Who's leading France right now? It is the Sinclair Trevelyers, Leon Juha. Juho. Oh. Wow, that is a bulging Austrian Empire. They got that bulge look. Yeah, they're really trying to... That's a thick tip. Wow. Oh, they don't even have... A, oh, I see. Hmm. All right, well, that's interesting that these guys are killing each other right now. Ah, Benito. Pious. A good Catholic man versus Mr. Trains running on time, man. He's a warmonger. Did you know that? Oh, huh, who would have thought? Actually, what's next for this stuff? Ah, up here. Uh, at... P Oh, that goes a car. Good job, guys. Um, do I want to fight the Fed boys or I go on and fight the U American Union State boys? They're they need to go bye bye next. Even though fighting the swamps is really bad for the tanks. Uh, at peace, completely the construction of Ulgich Station. Ah, uh, so we're gonna do that one at a time. That's gonna take a while to do. So, all right, not bad. And that one's next too. Cool. 
Head on down, boys. Give him some time. Y'all can probably go in and who's gonna get there first? Us or them? Us or them? Ah, them. Cool. Oh, we can't do Zuko's things yet because we need that one, which I'm not gonna do yet. So let's come back over here. Join the International. We could do that. Yeah, why not? Rather than have all of us try to stand up to German and Imperials on our own, we should join hands with the Commons in Brooks and France, Italy, and beyond. Sounds very good. Uh, you know what? How about they're both going up, sort of. So let's wait. Oh, uh, you know what? Get more stuff done. We'll see. I don't think the American Union can really handle too much more, but we'll see. Uh, I'm starting to lose here, though. Uh, hold. Just hold for now. It's fine. Hold. You guys come down here. Join the International. Secure Central Asia. Unlike the Caucasus region, there is no German interest in Central Asian provinces. We should be able to grab them without much opposition from the great powers. Islamic fate of Bukhara. Cool. So, let's come over here and do this. Uh, I don't think I want everyone here. How many divisions do they have? Oh, look at your Ibrahim back. You've got a nice beard, man. That's a really nice beard you've got going for you. Because supplies are going to be so bad down here. Cool. And I'll, I guess I'll throw the horses over here too. Why not? Cool. Uh, whoa, that's such bad supply. So it protect the Baltics. What is this one? Russia offers protection. The Skoka Republic. Oh, that's not too bad. They actually might agree to us. I don't know what that's going to do. Let's see. We have 10 days for that. So we'll see. Um, in case they say no, get ready to intervene. One of you guys are 40 combo with, which is actually really nice. Um, how are we doing down here? Help attack. Mobile. 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 Very, very nice. Can't enter. Oh, that is bad for the CSA. That's really bad. But Red Cox is uh, enemy in the East. Yes. Ever since the Russo-Japanese War, the true enemy of Russia has and always will be the rising empire in the East. The extremely rich and populous regions of China would also serve us very, very well. I don't want to go to all these guys just yet, but at the same time, going to war with them would help us out, And even though these guys really could use our help. Yeah. Hmm. Let's wait, maybe. We still need to make more stuff anyway, so. Even though we're already on war, uh, partial mobilization, not war economy yet. Yeah, getting these guys under control would be very good. No supply issues, so... Yeah, I want to help these guys out as much as possible. Can we at least capitulate the American Union state first, maybe? Slowly losing organization. Slowly, 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 slowly. They have a lot of planes. Wow. Very nice, very nice. We actually got them. Look at that. Hold. You guys looking okay? Head on in into Biloxi. Good. Another Syndicalist Republic of Chile has joined us. Very good, very good. Help them out. Help them out. We're not going to join the international until they're at war, actually at war, so... That's good, so now we don't have to deal with them. We can just go straight to war with those guys. It is still 39, get some better artillery. Actually, get this one... Eh, get this one first, it's fine. What is the supply like? we got plenty of guns. Artillery is actually looking pretty darn well as well. Ah, screw it, we're going to go to war soon then. Screw it. Federation in Turkestan, so be it with us. So be it. Actually, taking these guys out is going to be kind of a pain in the butt, if I remember correctly. Do that. We need range on those guys. Enemy agent turn is nice. Very good, very good, very good. Far Eastern operative captured. Which is always weird. You see that the enemy agent has been turned before we actually even see that they captured somebody here. So, I always found that very, very weird. Enemy in the East is very good. <clears throat> enemy in the West, yes. The greatest loss of the Valkyrie was, in all honesty, not in the East or South. It was losing our most industrialized regions of the West. It's time they return to their rifle owners. Five divisions here. Well, so much for the CSA helping them out right now. They're actually... Okay, they're actually pushing into Canada. Okay. That's, in that's interesting. Boris, keep learning until we go down south. There we go. Now, I've done this before, and it didn't go very well for us, just because I was kind of lazy about doing this, but it'll be okay. It'll be okay. So we're doing that. Let's get some better anti-air. Our guys actually don't have any anti-air at all, but whatever. <clears throat> if that's the case, these 40s? Here. Get some artillery on them. So our guys are coming back, that's fine. Oh, uh, we actually have an airbase here already, which is actually really good. Bing, bong, boom. Go right there. 
Help them out immediately. They're attacking us. We're going to be attacking them. They probably have quite a bit of manpower, actually. Uh, actually, they don't. They actually don't. Maybe they're mobilizing more, but that's fine. That is fine with us. We can't see their stockpile. Since we're here anyways. Thank you. Thank you. Come over here. It is August. Oh, the Second World War is going to begin very soon. That'll be good. Help, 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 help. After that... Actually, you just hold... Go down here. Cut these three divisions off. Cut them off, cut them off, cut them off. Good. All right. Join the International. Oh, sure. We'll do that one. Wow. Plus 2% weekly war support. That's actually really strong. Up next, grab... We've got both of these going along, which is great. 38, 39. Radar. Oh, they saw what we we're trying to do. They saw what we we're trying to do. That's not good. Hold for now. See what you can do. They caught us. They caught us. God dang it. They caught us. Enemy in the west. Demon West Karelia. Oh, we'll do that one. Raise NRA. Or, N yeah, NRA. Integrate them. Well, they are. They are total us. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> With the overthrow of that Japanese lapdog, the vile reaction in Kolchak by the People's Republican Army, we can begin the process of reuniting our nations into one. And then they divide between a proletarian population. Alright, everyone. So I just completed the thing off screen. It's already 1940. I'll be honest here. This is ridiculous. Central Asia is not that well developed. Be realistic about it, at least as best as possible. It's really not that well developed at all. And yet it took me until 1940 to get rid of these guys. That's that's ex too extreme. I've lost a lot of guys, but my god, that's ridiculous. I, I'm sorry. Just, it's so stupid how difficult it is to take out Central Central Asia. Yeah, they do have some industry, but it's ridiculous that even with air superiority, with enough supply that we didn't have pretty much any supply issues at all, with like two armies down here, and we still couldn't crack those guys. I'm sorry, but that's just, that's just extreme. That's way too extreme. And I know I didn't really care about, you know, winning too much, but, like, that just turns me off from this mod. Stuff like that. That's frustrating down here, playing through here. Just garbage. Just straight garbage. But, um, do we not? Also, I did a couple other focuses as well. Aviation bureaus, if you want to read about that one, please go right ahead. Let's see. I've done a lot of these well. I think I've already shown you some of this. I can't remember because I cut out a lot of the footage that, uh, that I kind of already did. This stuff, integrate the Far Eastern Republic. Fate of Turkestan, Coquelin, um, yeah, no, kill every single, I'm, I'd rather just kill everyone here. I'd rather just kill every single person here at this point. No. Why do we get penalized for Coquelin? No. No, 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 no. Uh, where is it? Yeah, there's nothing about the Far East. I don't like that, but yeah, kill every single person here. I don't care. There's not that many people, honestly, down here compared to the rest of Russia. Now, this is, this is a lot of people down here, but still. Like, the amount of defense they can pull up against Russia, I mean, yeah, we're not perfect here in the Soviets, but, uh, or the Russian Socialist Republic. But, I don't know. It's just, it's ridiculous. I That's probably the worst part, of, one of the worst parts about playing with Red Russia. Or just Russia in general. I've lost way too many guys. Way too many guys. Way too frustrating to play against the frickin' Central Asian people over here. How? Sure, they got mountains. They got some mountains. They got some hills. Even then, with no manpower, they're still able to hold out. I think there's a hidden modifier or something like that over there. So, that just screws you over so hard. And apparently the CSA's lost. Oh, not good. Not good. Red Cossacks. <clears throat> After losing the Valkyrie, the Don Kaban Union is a reactionary state run by Cossack warlords. Beyond their tyranny lies counter-revolutionaries and religious fundamentalists right at the edge of the theocratic Islamic empire in the south. As long as they remain at large, these states pose an active threat to revolution. But yeah, next time, I might just use Khan's commands because this is just ridiculous. This this area here. I, as you can tell, I'm really pissed off. I'm really pissed off at how they can hold out with, what, maybe 8 million people max? 8 million people with a minimal industry. I mean, don't get don't get me wrong. We don't have a really great military industry either, but still. Like, it's ridiculous how they can just hold out super easy when they don't have air superiority. We're going superior firepower. Makes no sense. Makes literally no sense. At this point, I'm just going to go join the, the war. Or, actually, no, let's, let's call off the fence. Get the entire army on the border. I'm going to kill off the fence. Unless they join the Reichs Pact. If they join the Reichs Pact, then that's really bad for us. Hmm, they could join the Reichs Pact. They really could easily join the Reichs Pact. Oh, yeah. Uh, Sweden. Yeah, screw it. I'm going to risk it. At this point, I'm just ready to kill off all the enemies. Kill every single last one of them off. <clears throat> Let me know the comments. Do you guys ever struggle with Central Asia? You, you, no one should really ever struggle too much with Central Asia, but for some reason, every campaign I do with in Kaiser Redux Russia, it's always a massive struggle. For some unknown reason. Uh, you guys. Not too bad. We could throw you where? There you guys. That's good. 
Excuse me. Can I can I get some more fighters, please? Come on. Is that lag of the game, man? Is that lag? But it's already 1940, and there he goes. There doesn't matter. Um, just goes over here. I'm gonna smash the crap out of the fins. We are not messing around now. Fins, demand Corellia. And build the, the station. Sure, why not? That seems pretty good. Find a battle, join this. Those guys. Uh, Poland did join the third international, so. Uh, and I guess the Latvians did as well. Oh, they're not doing too bad actually over here. Oh, they're actually pushing into Germany too. That's pretty good. Anything else? Not really, no. It's disappointing that America is going to lose or be fallen fall into capitalism, but still. Yeah, go straight in. I don't want peace. I really don't want peace. Good. The Kingdom of Finland has refused their generous offer to transfer a viable bargain part of Karelia back to the motherland. We must take a rifle lens back by force. And we're going straight in. Command power. I, I don't care. I don't give a crap at this point. You can tell I'm just pissed off. Like, this is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous that Central Asia of all regions with no manpower, literally no manpower, can put up a massive fight against you. No manpower. They literally have no guys. Literally no guys. And they're still able to put up a huge defense. Go in. I want you to kill every single last one of these people off. Alright, Finland's been called in. Don't really care. 5,000 for 25,000, that's not enough casualties. Kill more. More, 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 more. I want, I want blood. I want a lot of blood. Alright, uh, that one sucks. Uh, let's do new fighters. While bombers may damage our opposition, not a single one of them will reach our targets without sufficient protection from our fighters. These fighters will also provide cover for our own troops and industry. Hopefully. Unless the game comes up with BS excuses for why we will lose. Uh, come over here, not bad. Oh, actually, you have another one. Oh, actually, you have Go in. Go in the water. These guys are really not bad. 19 combo with, which is not great. With some recon? Oh, look at those guns. Look at that. That's really nice, actually. Well, at least we capitulated them. We got more stuff. Force it. I don't want a single fin alive. 80,000, that's not enough. I want, I want them all dead. Like, I'm calling... <laughs> I want every single one of them dead. Every single last one of these people dead. You will not say no to us. Hmm. The fall of Warsaw, which sucks. But I'm about to, we'll attack Estonia next. Estonia's up on the choppy block. Peace. Nope. I'm not. Nope. Kill them all off. Kill every single last one of them off. You will not say no to us. Oh, it's a little bit ahead of town. Let's get some better engineers. How much support equipment do we have? Hmm. It's not a lot. We need more support equipment. Uh, let's grab this too. We need some anti-air, some support equipment. We need a lot of things. Two armies to take out Central Asia, and it's still not enough for some reason. Just doesn't make sense. Does not make sense. Uh, 40s. Well, oh, keep improving you guys first. You guys will be good. Tank-wise, uh, since we have enough army XP now, motorized, 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 and motorized. And give them some good stuff. Arties. Uh, that one, maintenance, engineers, support companies, that'd be good. And 40s, since we don't have that many of them yet, go with anti-air as well. Not bad. Need quite a bit more support equipment, that's okay though. Are you guys just hanging out here? Don't know if I really would recommend that, but okay, whatever. Keep going, guys. You're not, you're not, literally not allowed to stop. 35,000, not enough. Not enough dead here. Fall of Bucharest, that's fine with us. Every single one of them has to die. You do not say no to us. You will not say no. Integrate these guys. Yeah, I, I don't want to integrate them. Just literally kill them all. Every single last one of them. Are you not going to take Helsinki? Come on, let's go. Come on. Ay ay ay. Actually, that's not really too bad. Just that's the biggest thing I'm worried about right now. Especially when you try to make more divisions to fight the Germans. That's gonna be a little bit of an issue for us, probably. We're still doing well over here though. The USBR, that is Oh, Lawrence is here now. Look at that. CNT still fighting, the fall of Washington. Well, Civic States one. Illyria is looking nice and thick. Wow. Oh, they actually no. I want Sweden. 
I want Sweden. Are we still at war with these guys? They were a puppet. No. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. They were literally war with us. That shouldn't... You should not be forced to peace out because of that. You really should not be forced to peace out. I don't like that. I really don't like that. Literally war with us. Why would I send a white peace with them? Why would we? Personally, I wouldn't. Um, send you guys over here, too. Even though this general sucks. He's not very good. He just kept losing. Could become 40s. He just kept losing, 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 losing. <laughs> See, why? Why would we peace out? I don't understand that. Why would we peace out if they're a puppet? I would never do that. Unless we were really militarily behind, and which we're not anymore. It literally makes no sense. I'll grab that too. There you go. Um, Finland, no, Finland, you're with us forever. The Finnish soldiers have been defeated and our army is marching through Helsinki. Now we must deal with the question of how to best administer the Finns. Kill all of them off. You will not say no to us. Man, this... I don't know. Red Russia. I... I they just need... I, with the, the paths I've tried so far... It's only this is my second path, of course. They need a little bit more way to get more political power. Point 0.79 is not bad. But it's going to get hit massively with this thing, which I'm, I'm, I don't want to do. Because minus 0.3 is too extreme. That's way too extreme, man. And at least if there's one way to get rid of it, or as the debuffs go away eventually, that'd be kind of cool. But since you can't, I'm not doing it. But talk, take to the seas. If we're to stand and proud amongst the great nations of Europe, again, we must build a new modern navy that can challenge the great powers of Europe and the world. Because there's nothing here regarding mil the military that is really god-awful. Backwards and... We still have a back... Yeah, I don't know. Red Russia. It's not great. Not great. But Estonia's gonna die. As soon as we can, kill them off once we get some more political power. Uh, you know what's good? Don't even do that. Because we have no political power, I'm not even gonna do a focus then. We need political power, so... I'm not really sure what else to say. Oh, you guys go home. Director of Volts don't really care. Um, guys, go home. Oh, you. Oh, maybe they already are. Okay, that, that looks like they were still in the, the ocean. That's fine. Uh, let's do that. You guys. This is not gonna enough. That's not gonna be enough divisions up here for this, but whatever. Do that. Convert you all to. Was it this group? Yeah, that's fine. Let's go fourteen. Uh, we could train, but whatever. You guys, get that one, that's fine. Any other divisions? Let's start training some more military. Uh, guys, we... I mean, honestly, the focuses, they're not great for Red Russia. At least for what I've seen so far. Like, we really need, I would say, probably some better focuses. Submit or die. All roads lead to Riga, huh? I'll go uh, third in national building. And they're still doing okay. They got pushed back a little bit, maybe. Is it? Oh, look at that. That's nice. Hell, that's a commune. Not bad. Yeah, I, I'm, not, I'm not taking this one. I don't care what happens. I'm not taking that one. That's just way too big of a political power loss. Way too big. Way too big. Let's see what happens. Let's, let's see what they say, though. Let's see what they say. Over here, go ahead and put some resistance. Yeah, the Finns, you're going to burn. You're going to burn. We have a lot of gulags for these people. Come on. Come on. What are you going to say? What are you going to say? Please say no. Please say no. I just want to kill them all off. There you go. Good. Donkabon Union. That's fine. Uh, I wish we had more command power. 0.77 every day. Eh, that's not bad, but still. But seriously, like, Central Asia, man. Makes literally no sense. How are we going to pick up, stick up a massive defense? It just... It feels like it's biased from the developers to do really well. I don't know they, they should have the ability to do well themselves, but like... No. I and mean, that's just ridiculous. Ridiculous. Kill them all off. Every single last one of them. Revolve's gone. And... That's it. Good. Estonia, thank you. And they're going to be gone forever. Okay, Donkabon Union, uh, they are in the Reich's Pact. So, I think overall we should be able to defend fairly okay, maybe not great. I think the fate of Estonia, no. You're not, nope. Integrate them. 
I'm not even going to bother with anything else here. Just integrate them. Because we need to join. I want to kill off the Rex Pact. I really want to see him dead. But then again, we got to deal with these guys up here too. We don't have enough tanks up here. So we got to wait a little bit. And we have enough manpower. But I think it would be a good place to end this episode. Which has frustrated me to really no end. So if you want to do these, through these focuses, please go ahead. Yeah, I don't know. Just It's not very good. Not very good. But if you enjoyed the video, regardless, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow when we will kill off a lot of Germans. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.